What would you write down? What would you write down? Imagine this. Imagine you're sitting down. And in your hand, you've got a three by five note card and a pen. You sit there and you're pondering what to write. You see, it's, it's your 13 year old son's graduation from the eighth grade. And you're about to write advice on this note card. But what if, what if you knew, what if you knew that that note card would stay with your son for the rest of his life? that your son would fold it up and keep it in his wallet and he'd take it out every day for the rest of his life for the next almost 90 years. What if you knew that the words on that note card would be read and reread and reread over and over and over and over again to the point where the words were no longer visible on the card because your son, your son would be trying to live up to the words that you wrote on that card and would be tracing the words with his finger for the next 90 years. What if you knew that the words on that note card, that the principles, the, the advice that you would give on that note card, what if you knew that those words would profoundly affect hundreds of world-class athletes, would affect movie producers and announcers and politicians and business leaders and coaches and parents around the world? What if you knew that the words on the, that note card would be studied by some of the greatest athletes in history, would be studied by some of the greatest coaches in history, would be studied by some of the greatest leaders in history? What if you knew that those words eventually, eventually your son would take your words and make little carbon, uh, little, little, little laminated cards with your words, with your advice, and would make thousands and eventually tens of thousands of copies of those little cards and hand them out to people around the world? What if you knew that those words would have a ripple effect and that decades, even a hundred years after you write those words, your words would still be impacting the lives of people, people you never met, people you would never meet, people who were born years after you passed away? What if you knew. What words would you write down? You see, this is not a made up story. A note card was given to a young man, an eighth grader, graduating from eighth grade. A note card with seven pieces of advice, seven pieces of guidance, seven ideas, seven principles. And that note card stayed in that young man's wallet for the rest of his life. And he did reread that note card over and over and over again. And he quoted those words and he tried to weave those words into his life. When that father, Joshua Wooden, handed the note card to his son, John Wooden, almost a almost hundred years ago now, Joshua said to his son, son, try to live up to this. What would you write? What's one of those pieces of advice? See, in this series, I'm going to walk you through each of those seven pieces of advice, but not just that. How did John Wooden try to live them, and how did it affect his life, and how did his, it affect his coaching career? You see, John Wooden coached the UCLA Bruins men's basketball team. He was voted the best sports coach of the 20th century. Not, not the best college basketball coach, the best sports coach in the world for the 20th century. I don't know. It's probably debatable, but he was one of the best, absolutely. And he won, in, in, over the course of just 12 years, he won 10 national championships with UCLA. He had four undefeated seasons. Yeah, he had Kareem Abdul-Jabbar for three years, but he, won, he had one undefeated season with Kareem. He had four undefeated seasons total. He won the championship with the tallest team, and he won the championship with the shortest team. And during practice and during games and Throughout the year, he'd take that note card out of his wallet and he'd read the words his father wrote down over and over and over again. You see, his father didn't have a lot of money, but he gave him an amazing gift for eighth grade. What kind of gifts do you give to people in your life? Emerson put it this way. He said, rings and jewels are not gifts, but apologies for gifts. The only true gift is a portion of thyself. Joshua Wooden gave his son a portion of himself on that note card. He worked a lot of hours, but he knew that it was worth investing the time to think, what advice, what advice do I give to my son? Bill Walton said, John Wooden made me 
the basketball player I was, and the man I am. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar said, said his ultimate goal, he said Wooden's ultimate goal was building people. Yeah, we won a few basketball games along the way. But he was an incredible, incredible leader. And a lot of it you can trace back to the words, to the advice, to the guidance on that note card. It's graduation season. I bet somebody in your life is probably graduating right now, or maybe just did. When you give people gifts, do you give them a portion of yourself? Do you give them a word of advice? Maybe. Do you write it down? It doesn't have to be seven points. It doesn't have to have a poem on the back. But that's what Joshua Wooden gave to his son. What would you write? What's at least one thing that you would write? Imagine this. Imagine flip the scenario around. Imagine that, that somehow you're able to give yourself Go back in time and give yourself when you graduated from eighth grade, when you were 13 years old, you're able to go back and give yourself a note card and, and you know, you know that you will keep that note card. Your, your 13 year old self, your eighth grade graduation self will keep that note card and ponder those words and try to live those principles. What advice, if you could do that, what would you go back and give to yourself? On the back of that card, Joshua wouldn't, copied a poem. The poem said, four things a man must learn to do if he would make his life more true. To love his fellow, uh, sorry, to think without confusion clearly, to love his fellow man sincerely, to act from honest motives purely, to trust in God and heaven securely. What poem? What poem might you write on the back of that card? In this series, I'm going to walk you through the seven principles, the seven pillars that Joshua Wooden gave to his son that day. But I want you to think through which pillars matter most, which pillars of advice will you share with the world?